Hi there. Welcome to my channel on this beautiful corner of the internet. So when I answered my spiritual calling, I had no clue how my life was about to change. So I put together this video with three ways for you to know if you are meant to be answering a spiritual calling due to my own personal experiences. And a small disclaimer, I believe that only you can confirm within your heart if you are meant to answer a spiritual calling. I'm just here to be a guide to redirect you back to that knowing. So here are three ways you will know if you are being guided to answer to a spiritual calling. So the first way that you will know is that you will feel a call to something bigger than you. It will feel like a longing in your heart and your soul that surpasses human logic of understanding. You may not be able to put your, your finger on exactly what it is. It's not so much a logical knowing as much as it's a deep heart and soul knowing within yourself that there is something more to your life and also your existence of being here. You may begin to feel a call to something bigger than you, something outside of you, which is the energy of the creator and also the energy within yourself, your soul self, to collaborate with the creator and with the collective as a whole, to begin to show up for other people in a ways that may feel more purpose driven or fulfilling to you. You will feel it in your heart that you're ready for something more. And this something more may also simultaneously excite you and scare you at the same time. Now, this is also because growth is uncomfortable and the unknown is very scary when it comes to the human mind wanting to understand the things that it does not know. And that is also why with answering a spiritual calling and a spiritual path, tuning into our intuition and what it means to tune into the creator, to God, the divine, the spirit, so that we can collaborate with these forces that are natural, that are spiritual of nature and do not have to do with just the material physical world reality. This specific spiritual calling may not be predefined for you, or it may be a defined vision or an end goal path that you're being shown. And you may not know exactly how you're going to reach that end goal vision, but that is also normal and that's okay. There are also some of us that when we answer a call, it is just a knowing and a feeling, not yet so much something set in concrete for how it has to look once we step onto the awakening path and answer the call. It is very common to feel that there's a lot of blind spots or gray area in your life to the path of how you're going to get to that higher calling but that is also part of the journey in the evolution and there is so much blind faith that we we learn and we cultivate and we embody throughout many stages of our spiritual journey of answering a spiritual calling but that first step to say yes to a calling and the changes that come after saying yes is the most courageous first step that anybody could make so if you are someone who has recently said yes to your spiritual higher calling, I am proud of you and I know firsthand how much courage that takes to, to say yes and to take those steps, no matter how small, towards that calling that is true to your heart, your spirit, and to the creator. The second way you will know you're meant to answer a spiritual calling is that you will begin to feel like your everyday job or your everyday life, the steps that you're moving through, your schedule, your routine is just insurmountable to you. You will also begin to feel like the things that you used to be interested in, you cannot surmount it, the energy within you to still find interest in those same, those same things that you used to. This is also completely normal to experience because our soul selves is trying to guide us to what is actually fulfilling to us on a heart and soul level. And it is about us 
deciding to answer that call within ourselves and to spirit the divine the creator however you identify with the source that oversees this entire universe you're going to feel like you're not living your life to the fullest you're going to feel like you're moving through the motions you may begin to feel energetically unwell or you may start to feel like you're taking on these random illnesses or getting sick very often or very run down and the reason being is because our energetic systems are trying to guide us to a ways of living that that feels more healthy and more whole and complete to us on a soul level and that comes through answering a spiritual calling you will also begin to see so many signs and synchronicities come through whether it's through angel numbers it's through dreams it's through messages through songs in ways that make it so that you cannot make it up you're gonna have these moments where you're like wow i can't make this up that literally i keep being shown this or i keep being shown this message and you're going to keep getting redirected by your intuition, your spirit guides, your path, and the creator to say yes to this higher calling. And they're going to make it pretty obvious for you. The reason your everyday life is going to feel insurmountable to you is because the ways that you're living is not matching your higher self or your soul self alignment. And answering that calling is going to bring about certain changes to your life that may not be the most comfortable changes but ultimately are going to align you to a path that really fulfills your your innate soul calling the third way that you will know is that things are just going to randomly feel like they keep being pulled out of your life you're going to feel like things in your life just aren't working out for you anymore the ways that they used to and you're going to feel like there is this heavy resistance energy in the background of your life that every time you keep trying to do the things that you normally do there is something that comes up that just doesn't go right and you're going to begin to feel this resistance in it like inside yourself because you're not listening to what your your soul self is trying to guide you to say yes to just that declaration alone of saying yes i'm going to choose this spiritual path i'm going to choose this spiritual calling and i'm going to trust how it unfolds to me even just stating that is a ways of declaration and this is by no means an easy path or an easy yes because it is a consistent test of your blind faith and trusting in the creator and your intuition and your soul self in a ways that requires so much faith so much trust so much courage and that is what carries you through in the long run and that is what we consistently embody no matter how long we have been on this path for you also may feel like you are carrying around this heavy resistance energy and that also manifests external resistance energies in your external world reality because you're not truly in flow with your spirit self and your calling and with the creator i find that if you do not answer the spiritual calling when it is presented to you unfortunately what happens is that we will find that there will be more encounters and experiences in our life that keep trying to redirect us back to the path of saying yes to a higher calling so whichever ways this calling is moving through to you i encourage you and invite you to be brave and see where this path can take you as a personal share when i answered my spiritual calling I quit my job that I was working for 10 years of my life because I felt in my heart as I was being asked to answer the call by spirit that there was something more and greater that I was meant to be answering to and I was not someone that had a defined calling 
I just had it under the archetype of being a healer, but I did not know how that was going to happen when I quit my job and I took that leap of faith to to allow myself to move into my self-discovery, my higher calling expanded and showed itself to me through spiritual gifts that I never thought I would have and through opportunities to show up in this type of work that I never could have thought humanly was possible for me. And being here on YouTube is definitely one of them. So I wanted to show up here also as a personal testimony that my path, my awakening and answering my calling was all blind faith. And I believe in you to be able to, to do this in the ways that is aligned for you. Thank you so much for trusting me to be your spiritual guide. If you have found this video helpful, please leave a like on this video as a ways to let me know. And if you feel open to sharing anything in the comments, I would love to connect with you. This video is one video in a playlist that I am creating for spiritual beginners. So I would be so honored if you would like to subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to walk this spiritual path together. Thank you so much as always for tuning in with me and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.